I was um, I was three and a half when I started playing. Do you remember much about that? Picking up the fiddle for the first time? Well, I remember I remember um, looking around for a fiddle teacher as soon as I got one, but I really not I don't really remember a lot about buying a fiddle and stuff. Did it feel right to you the very first time you you picked it up? Did it feel like this is? Yeah, it felt it felt. I felt like I could um, try, at least try to play it. Well, my first fiddle lesson, my fiddle teacher, she um, wanted me to just know the basics on how to play the fiddle, and she taught me at Old McDonald. And um, I, as soon as I learned that, I, um, my fiddle teacher said, you better bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. I remember how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not how you played it when you were three, though, was it? <laughs> did it take you to figure out that this was something that you were going to be really good at? Well, I really didn't know, and I still don't know if I'm going to be good at it or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a good head start, though. Yes, Eight sir. years old. Uh, what, tell me about what kind of music do you play? I play um, bluegrass, old time, and gospel. Yeah. Most of the songs we play, we just um, listen to CDs and stuff, and that's how we learn them. So can you pretty much play any song that you hear? Well, if I listen to it for like maybe an hour or two, I could probably play it if I really tried. Oh. Ah. What, what are your favorite songs? My favorite song is Orange Blossom Special. friend that was taking uh, lessons from Carson's first fiddle teacher and they invited Carson to come up and play a song and it was it was up in uh, up near uh, South Holston Lake at a fire department for a benefit singing uh, for somebody in the community I can't remember what the what the event was for but Carson went up there and he played uh, I think he played old Joe Clark and boil them cabbage down with him didn't you and uh, but it was it was really something to see him play at such a small age I think Carson had just turned four when he did that, and he started taking like in August, and this was like in the next April. When he was four and a half and played uh, his first time at Galax in the Fiddler's uh, competition up there, in the fiddle competition up there, he played uh, Tennessee Waltz on this fiddle and won second place in the 16-year-old and under category. Wow. On this at four. At four and a half, yeah. Do you remember that song? Tennessee Walton.
uh, he showed a lot of musical tendencies at an early age. If we were in church and he was on my lap and the choir was singing, he was, you know, keeping time. And going down the road, you know, we would hear him clapping or rattling a rattle or whatever he had in his hand, and he would be in time. And, and you know, I told my wife Robin that, you know, we need to get an instrument in his hands as soon as possible. Well, his grandmother bought him a little ukulele, and I didn't even know how to tune a ukulele. He was just here, and he would beat on it. And, one day, Robin came through the house and, and he said, listen, Mama, and he picked out the lead, the twinkle, twinkle little star on this ukulele that wasn't even in tune. And we knew then we needed to, to get an instrument in his hands. We found a one eight size fiddle at a uh, flea market, Amish, little Amish flea market. We were on vacation up in Pennsylvania and I bought it. And at the time, it was too big for him. It was about this big. And uh, he, uh, and then we, we found a teacher, you know, we found, uh, uh, Sarah Fletcher Collins, and she took him and worked with him for about three years, and uh, you know it just just happened. After a couple of lessons, she said, you know he's he, he's really catching on, so you need to bring him back. And uh, Carson would come home and uh, get his fiddle out, and he would look, play. And where I had played the guitar growing up, uh, I finally went and found mine, and got the dust off of it, and tuned it up, and I would play the songs with him. And it was it was really uh, fun to watch him learn because I have to try really hard to play, and it was just really easy for him to start picking up. And you know, and even at age four, he was playing you know a couple three years above his above his age. We play at uh, local festivals, and we play at uh, you know local venues around at different restaurants and different benefits. We play uh, up to Crooked Road General Store a lot, and down at Earl Mass Red Barn, and. Just any kind of, uh, of uh, event where they need music, you know, we, we go out for it. I joke a lot about saying he signs the checks, but you know, he we talk about you know what songs you want to play. He he helps me put together the set list, and uh, you know, it's it's really his band, and uh, you know that that's one thing we're really blessed to have. Uh, you know, adults playing in the band besides his father that. They're really there to, to help him grow as a musician, and you know, and to be a part of of, of that band. And you know, and Tom and, and uh, Bobby are we're really blessed to have them in the band because you don't find many adults that would would come and let a let a nine year old be the boss. We met Carson. He was about four years old at the Mount Airy uh, North Carolina Fiddlers Convention they have up there every June, and then. Uh, about almost two years ago he asked us if uh, we wanted to be part of his band and as far as him being a kid uh, it's not like we're playing with a kid I mean I, I mean that seriously he's he's a professional and uh, he's a very skilled uh, fiddle player so we don't think of him as a kid <laughs> truly blessed you know and, and I, I tell this uh, to everybody as well you know even if Carson couldn't whistle you know much less play the play the fiddle Carson's a good boy he uh, he's uh, he's a good son he uh, I'm very proud of him he uh, he, uh, he loves the Lord and he uh, he treats others nicely and he, he's just a good kid and uh, I tell everybody that you know I played the guitar growing up and played for several years and then quit and had no desire to get it back out, so he came along, and then it kind of he came along and started playing, and I started playing, and we started playing together as a band, and it's just uh, probably one of the most fun things I've ever done. And, and looking back, I know one of these days when he goes on and, and gets some professional, and gets a professional guitar player, that I'll be able to look back and say, you know, I had a lot of fun playing playing the guitar. What kind of things do you like to do besides play fiddle? Hunt. I actually killed my first duck uh, about a week ago, and that was fun. And I like to ride my four wheeler, and uh, I like to play baseball, and pretty much every sport you can think of except football, which I would snap myself in half. So uh, that's why I don't play football. What position do you play in baseball? 
Uh, shortstop missing time. Oh. I'm, I'm wanting to play pitcher next year. Well, it, oh. It's funny. We'll go out somewhere and play, and you know, after we get through playing, people come up and talk to, to me or Rob, and, and they'll say, Well, now, uh, do y'all let him do other stuff? <laughs> you know, and I, I jokingly tell everybody, No, we lock him in his room after school and don't let him come out till bedtime. We just don't let him play his fiddle. That's it. <laughs> he enjoys it, and uh, the day he quits enjoying it, we'll find something else to do, won't we, son? But he, uh, a <laughs> but uh, he's typical nine-year-old rock throwing, stick breaking, baseball throwing, wild nine-year-old boy. Mm. Can you remember back bit before the fiddle was in your life? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not much. Your, your whole memory, the fiddle has always been there, hasn't it? Pretty much. Yeah. Um, do you feel like you've have you, do you feel like you can get still learn more songs and get better, or are you at the top of the mountain now? Or when it comes to me, pretty much everything I do, I think I can do at least ten times better. I really want to be a professional fiddle player. That's the goal. Yes, that's the goal. What is it about it that you th enjoy? Um, it's just knowing that um, when I play, I can make people smile, and that God. Um, gave me a talent to play the fiddle and I can use that to help and um, to to make people smile. Yeah. Do you like to hear people cheer and applaud too? Eh, I don't really it's not like what I'm set out to do when I um play. I just wanna make them happy and stuff. I don't really care about the fame and stuff. <laughs> Well, that, that applause is addictive, though, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say it's kind of fun.
Boy, the Lord was in a good mood when he was working on you. <laughs>